You might not know this, but there's one particular industry that's infamous for lobbying the government hard to get what it wants. They give hundreds of thousands of pounds in donations to political parties. They're even known for sending plush gift baskets to newly elected MPs' offices. This is the aviation industry, and their aggressive government lobbying is a threat to us all. Major airlines and airports have been under fire for some time now over their climate wrecking business models. Rishi Sunak and other high ranking government ministers talk a big game about net, net zero. zero. Net zero. Net zero. But these same ministers are also pushing to prop up the aviation industry, giving them tax breaks of up to £7 billion annually. Keep in mind, flying is the single most carbon emitting activity an individual can partake in. Yet the government is pushing an airline friendly strategy, which means the expansion of at least nine airports and an extra 200 million flying passengers each year. Now, if you're left scratching your head thinking net zero is incompatible with an ever growing aviation industry, well, you're right. It is. Airlines like Ryanair and British Airways were making over a billion pounds a year prior to the pandemic. Part of these profits are used to fund lobbying efforts in the UK and across Europe, and other major UK aviation businesses and bosses are donating directly to politicians. Essentially, it's a rigged game, where the winners, like airline shareholders, get to take home record profits, made possible in part by strong government support. And the losers? me and you have to breathe dirtier air and endure an increasingly volatile climate. We need to make our elected officials accountable to us, not aviation bosses. Find out more on the New Economic Foundation's work to help communities fight back against this climate-wrecking industry.